Hey guys, what's up? This is Shodi from eGadgets for you. And in this video, I have the exclusively new Vivo V5 Plus and the newly launched Xiaomi Redmi Note 4 handset with me. Now, these are the two latest handsets from Xiaomi and Vivo respectively. And mind you, it's available within the same specs. So let's dig deep into the comparison in this particular video and find out the differences in both the handsets. Now I have the Xiaomi Redmi Note 4 towards the right end of the screen and towards the left end I have the Vivo V5 Plus. Let me give you a physical overview of both the handset at first. Towards the top for Redmi Note 4 you get the 3.5mm jack input point, the IR sensors or the IR blasters and the noise cancellation speakers. Towards the top of Vivo V5 Plus there is nothing whatsoever present. Towards the front, for both the handset, you get the earpiece which is common. But for Xiaomi Redmi Note 4, you get the sensors and the 5 megapixel front camera. For the Vivo V5 Plus, you get the most important USB of this particular device. That is a dual camera of a 20 megapixel shooter and an 8 megapixel shooter. It also has a moonlight flash, the front light flash, which was evident in V5 also. And it's also present in the V5 Plus as well. Apart from that, you also get the sensors. Beneath that, for both the handset, you will get a 5.5 inch of screen display size over there. And towards the bottom, you get a home button, the back button and the multitasking button for either of the handset. Mind you, for the Vivo V5, just had this touch sensation for the home button. But with the Vivo V5 Plus, you also get to push and also touch it for enabling the home screen as well. Towards the left hand side of both the handsets, you get the SIM drawers. Now mind you, for the Xiaomi Redmi Note 4, it's a hybrid slot. So either you can use your Nano SIM for the second SIM slot or your micro SD card. But for the Vivo V5 Plus, it only supports dual Nano SIM. There is no provision for any external micro SD card whatsoever. Towards the rear end of both the handsets, you will find the USB cable charge point. Now for the Xiaomi Redmi Note 4, you get the speaker grills on either side. One speaker is for the headphones and another one is for the handset. For the Vivo V5 Plus, you get the 3.5mm jack input point over here, the mouthpiece and also the speaker grills on one end. Towards the right hand side for both the handsets, you get the volume rockers and the screen lock button or the on and off button present over there. Towards the back, for the Xiaomi Redmi Note 4, you get a 13 megapixel shooter, dual LED flash and the fingerprint scanners. For Vivo V5 Plus, you get a 16 megapixel shooter at the back with LED flash and Vivo branding. The Mi branding is also present in the Redmi Note 4 towards the bottom area. Now mind you, both this particular handset is made out of metal absolutely metal not an inch of plastic is visible in these particular devices for the xiaomi redmi note 4 you get a 2.5d glass protruding outfield towards the top but for the vivo v5 plus there is no such things but i want to show you something this particular antenna which vivo v5 plus is claiming that they have put it in order to enhance the call quality and also the network stability. It can be found in the top end of also. Now you have the Xiaomi Redmi Note 4 on the right end of the screen and the left hand side you have the Vivo V5 Plus. For the Vivo V5 Plus as you can see there is no app drawers. Similarly you cannot find app drawer for the Xiaomi handset as well. Both the handset has its custom UI on top. For the Redmi you have the Mi UI 8.3 version over there and for the Vivo V5 Plus you have a fun touch OS of 3.2. Let's go to settings for both the devices and navigate to about phone. You will find that both the phones runs on Android version of 6.0.1 which is Marshmallow. Both is expected to get the Nougat update pretty soon as well. The next most important thing is the storage aspect in both the devices. Mind you, both the Redmi Note 4 and the Vivo V5 Plus has an internal memory of 64 GB and both has a 4 gigs of RAM. But for the Redmi Note 4, you get a hybrid slot. So there is an ability to insert the micro SD card in it. Whereas it's completely missing in the Vivo V5 Plus. But both the handset supports USB OTG. Apart from that, in the settings department, you will find a lot of customizations available for both the handsets. As because it has a custom UI for both the handsets. So you will get some additional settings as well to customize your phone, loop, themes, wallpapers. Similar is for Vivo V5 Plus as well. From a display perspective, both the Vivo V5 Plus and the Xiaomi Redmi Note 4 sports a 5.5 inch of screen size. Both has the support for full HD display. 
The Xiaomi Redmi Note 4 as well as the Vivo V5 Plus has a pixel density of 401 ppi. It supports a resolution of 1080 into 1920 pixels for both the handsets. So that way both the handset has some amazing and similar features from a display perspective. Both have the IPS LCD capacitive touchscreen with 16M of color. So that means the viewing angles in both the handsets is amazing. My personal experience is that that the brightness, contrast, saturations and the color levels are just perfect in both the handsets of Vivo V5 Plus as well as the Xiaomi Redmi Note 4. Now again, similarity can be found in the specs department for both the handsets. In the Xiaomi Redmi Note 4 that I am holding over here right now, this supports a Qualcomm Snapdragon 625 chipset with an octa-core processor clocked at 2 GHz. It has 4 GB of RAM, 64 GB of internal memory, runs on Android 6.0.1 Marshmallow. For the Vivo V5 Plus, there is no difference whatsoever from the Xiaomi Redmi Note 4 as well. Viewing angles, as already mentioned, is superb. Multitasking is great with the 5.5 inch of screen size. And the chipset, motherboards, processors, RAMs, internal memory are exactly similar to the Xiaomi Redmi Note 4 as well. There were no lag whatsoever in either of the devices and browsing the net, reading stuffs, and also some heavy gaming experience turns out great in either handsets as well. Next up is obviously the most important aspect that is a battery. Let's talk about the Vivo V5 Plus at first. It has a 3055 mAh battery and also the battery vehicle capacity in the Vivo V5 Plus considering it has a great camera is not great. But here lies the difference in the Xiaomi Redmi 4. Now, this particular handset of the Redmi Note 4 packs a 4100 mAh battery. It lasted close to two and a half working days on very high usage and use of 4G Geo SIM each and every day, 24 hours a time. So that way the battery aspect is simply amazing in the Redmi Note 4. But both does not support fast charging as of now. Let's talk about camera. The Xiaomi Redmi Note 4 sports a 13 megapixel shooter at the back and a 5 megapixel shooter at the front. Both has a focal aperture of f by 2.0. Both records video at 1080p at 30 frames per second. For the Vivo V5 Plus, the camera is simply amazing. As I have made a dedicated video for the camera review of the Vivo V5 Plus, I guess you have seen it by now, that the quality of the picture Vivo V5 Plus takes is simply amazing. It has a 16 megapixel shooter at the back with focal aperture of f2.0 and a flash and it has two cameras at front with a 20 megapixel shooter and an 8 megapixel shooter. Mind you, both the cameras has the Sony sensors and the Sony lens into it. So that way, camera is absolute delight in the Vivo V5 Plus. Additionally, you get the moonlight flash for the front camera so that does make sure of the fact that your selfies turns out great even in very low light conditions. Let us just quickly take some of the look at the sample shots with Xiaomi Redmi Note 4. As you can see that the performance of the camera in the Xiaomi Redmi Note 4 is mediocre. But then again, you have to take, for, take it for granted that it's priced only 13,000 INR. And if you consider the price range, then obviously the picture quality is not that bad either. But my complaint is that there is a yellowish tint in the picture with the Xiaomi Redmi Note 4. The selfies turns out good in good light conditions, bright conditions, daylight. The selfies does work to a great deal, but it fails heavily in low light conditions as you can see over here. Then also you have to adjust to the condition that it's a low range device and the camera is a 5 megapixel shooter for the front. Now let us take a look at some of the sample photos with the Vivo V5 Plus. Outdoor shooting conditions, it's simply amazing. Each and everything are so minute, so clear and so bright. Even in indoor light conditions, low light conditions, you will see that this particular photos turns out to a great deal with the use of back camera flash. For some of the objects taken with good source of light and also with some tricky photography, each and every picture came out perfect. The front camera with the use of a moonlight flash is simply amazing. In very low light conditions with the use of the front moonlight, the selfies turns out great. Even in a low light conditions or artificial lighting, the front camera turns out to a great deal. In outdoor shooting conditions for the front camera, it's simply amazing. The quality of picture is super for Vivo V5 Plus and it's no comparison with the Xiaomi Redmi Note 4 in this particular aspect. So now let's sum it up for the Xiaomi Redmi Note 4 and also the Vivo V5 Plus. 
Now, which one of these handsets will you go for? Let us take a look at the pros and the cons for both the handsets. Both the handsets have similar chipset of Qualcomm Snapdragon 625. Both has 4 gigs of RAM, internal memory of 64 gigs, and both has good fingerprint sensors. A great display to both of the handsets. Now, at first, let me just dig deep for the Xiaomi Redmi 4. This particular handset does not support fast charging. It has a mediocre camera and with very low light or in low light conditions, the camera does not meet up to the expectations. But yeah, definitely it's a boost up from the Xiaomi Redmi Note 3 that was launched in 2016. So that way it's a good upgrade for Xiaomi. The price range, it's only 13,000 INR available exclusively via Flipkart and May India. And also the there are other variants of 2 gigs and 3 gigs RAM which are priced way less than 13,000 INR. Now let's take a look at the Vivo V5 Plus. What you are getting in this particular handset? You are getting a simply amazing mind-blowing camera I must say. You get a fingerprint scanner that responds in 0.2 seconds. You get a 64 gigs of internal memory but no support for a micro SD card. You get the same chipset, same processor, same display specifications as a Xiaomi Redmi Note 4. So what is the difference with Vivo V5 Plus and the Xiaomi Redmi Note 4? The price. The Vivo V5 Plus is priced very heavily at 27,000 INR. Come on man, it's pretty expensive. Very expensive I must say. Only considering that you want to take a great selfie, only considering that you want to take some good pictures and only considering that you want to get a lighter fingerprint scanner, you are paying 27,000 bucks. For me, it's pretty high. Easily this particular handset, if it was priced something around 19,000 INR, this would have been an absolute winner. There could have been no handset close to this particular handset. But pricing is something that they have priced it heavily. I'm not sure why. But then again, these are my opinions. If you have any specific queries for the Vivo V5 Plus or the Xiaomi Redmi Note 4, do let me know. I'll be glad to reply to them. Hope this video helps. And if it was helpful, please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. That'll be it, guys. Bye for now.